Today we honor an influential legend both on and off the court. And we highlight some new class opportunities for next year. And will we be having prom this year? This story and more coming up on NHS TV Live. Today marks the one year anniversary of the death of 20 year NBA veteran Kobe Bryant and his 13 year old daughter Gianna, who both tragically died in a helicopter crash in Calabasas along with seven other passengers on their way to a youth basketball tournament. Bryant's death sent waves throughout the NBA with teams around the league running down both the eight and 24 second shot clock violations in honor of Kobe's jersey numbers and left players around the league having to mourn the death of a friend, teammate and childhood hero. Brian's daughter Gianna planned on playing pro basketball for the WNBA, and while her life was tragically cut short, the league honored Gigi and two of her teammates by making them honorary draft picks in last year's WNBA draft. And since their death, murals of Kobe and Gigi have been made all around the world in countries like France, Mexico, Argentina, Japan, the Philippines, and South Africa. And though he may be gone, Kobe left a legacy that few ever have, and is recognized as not only a devoted husband and father, but also as one of the greatest athletes of all time, and one of the most dedicated and hardworking individuals who left his heart out on the court. Mamba out. Here at Northwest, there are many different choices of classes to take, but one hands-on class really sticks out from the rest. I personally really enjoyed this class and recommend it, but in case that doesn't sell you, NHS TV reporter Lainey Moore went out and got some information on this class. With class registration right around the corner, you might not know about all the great opportunities that are available here at Northwest. This is one class that stands out from many others. AP Biology, and it's a blended class. The great thing about having a blended class is that students only have to go to class three times a week. Two times the kids aren't required to come to class and their assignments are online. This class provides a lot of hands-on experience. Great labs for each unit. We didn't so much get to do that this year because of COVID, but hopefully we'll be back on track next year. Um, lots of hands-on learning, um, but it's just a, it's a fun environment anyway. Many students agree that AP Bio is one of the best classes they have taken. Multiple seniors have recommended this class for underclassmen. The class I would recommend for underclassmen was AP Bio with Ms. Shamont because I learned so much in that class and she's a great teacher. Um, I really like Ms. Shamont's class because she's a lot of fun. She makes learning actually fun and makes me actually want to go to class. So Texans, as you begin to register for classes next month, make sure you keep AP Biology in mind. This has been Lainey Moore with NHS TV. Thanks, Lainey. And since registration is around the corner, the CMP Academy is available to students looking to join classes like graphic design, broadcast journalism, photography, and more. If you are interested, here's a sneak peek of what CMP has to offer. In the CMP Academy, we have graphic design, photography, and audio video production. So we can do live broadcasts that last hours long. We're getting footage, we're working on it, and basically we have to be at a very professional level to pull off a good broadcast that's lasting these hours long. So in graphic design, we make logos, we do advertisements for different companies around us. You can be a photographer, you can go into journalism. You can be an editor, a graphic designer, a producer, a news anchor. We're in a professional studio, so you have to be really professional with the equipment we're working with and what we're trying to do here. And then you really learn a lot of like communication because you have to work with the other students. I am ahead of a lot of people that I'll be going to college with because I'm already in a newsroom every day. Like I'm already in a news setting that other people will not have. The reason that students should come into the CMP Academy is because it's just a huge learning experience that you don't get anywhere else. It has been the highlight of my high school career. Class of 22, 
2022 and 2023 juniors and seniors. If you are interested in teaching, coaching, or working with children, then you should sign up to participate in an internship at an NISD elementary school three days a week during the school day. If you are interested, please compete, complete the practicum internship request form to sign up for the instructional practices class in the education and coaching pathway. The deadline to submit the form is February 19th. Please see Ms. Hamby in room 817 if you have any questions or would like to pick up an informational flyer. Sometimes getting green court hours can be hard, but SUCO has a way to help you out while also helping the community in return. During this tough time, it is especially hard to find ways to help your community. Stuco is holding a drive to help out the homeless community and Project Linus with donating socks, sleeping bags, and fleece fabric. In return for donating to the drive, for every three packs of socks or a new sleeping bag or two yards of fleece fabric donated, you will get one hour towards your green court hours. Tomorrow is the due date, so make sure that all donations are brought to Dr. Woodard's room in 636. As a senior, I was really devastated that some of the senior traditions I was looking forward to got taken away. However, as of right now, it looks as if one last senior tradition can still be saved, which I am so hopeful for. Stuco Senior President and overall Vice President Rose Paulson has some hopeful news for the class of 2021. We're trying to uh, raise as much money as humanly possible for prom so that we can get the tickets as cheap as possible because and then we're doing the candy fundraiser. So the more bags we sell, the cheaper prom tickets will be. So right now they're $85, but if we like if we're able to sell a lot more, it'll go down to like 75 or even 65. Our date for right now, as like everything can change with COVID, is May 15th at um, the Bowdoin and Keller. It's just all kind of up in the air. So we're just trying to plan while also being like diligent of like anything can change in a second. Yesterday wrapped up the final show of our very own theater musical production, Into the Woods. The musical followed the plot of the original Broadway musical and takes us through one primary story of Baker and his wife who were on a quest to lift the curse from an evil witch in order to have a child. Throughout this story, they interact with many classic fairy tales such as Little Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, and Rapunzel in order to complete the quest. The musical had a successful four runs with every night being sold out. And after theater's fantastic production, next year's musical is definitely not one you're going to want to miss. Also, Texans, make sure you come support, support both your Lady Texan basketball team and soccer team as they play against Richland and Grapevine High School tonight at 715 at home. Both boys' team will play away as well. Have a great day, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.